Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 1 on problem 2 that is demo on CNC manual part programming for a turning profile using Denford Funuk turning simulation software. These are all video tutorials on CNC manual part programming of turning exercises using Denford Funuk turning simulation software. See here, the problem will be of this sort. Any university examination and all that, the C under CNC manual part programming, they give the profile in this way. Once the profile is given in this way, that means to say you have to write a manual part program so that finally when this is loaded onto CNC machine, when the manual part programming is loaded onto CNC machine, you have to get the profile exactly in this way. Okay. Now, as I said, this problem has some conditions given. They say it is made up of not only multiple rough turning, but also finishing cycle. Okay. That is under multiple turning, that is multiple rough turning, it will drive an alliance of 0.5. I have given an alliance of 0.5 on both X and Z. Okay. That means it will leave an alliance of 0.5 not only on X, but also on the Z. Okay. As I have told you, Z is always the axis and perpendicular to the axis is X. Okay. Now, since it is made up of rough turning as well as finished turning, also since an alliance of 0.5 has to be given, you have to take care of all this in the program. And they are also given, take a cut increment of 1 mm. That means depth of cut should be taken as 1 mm for rough turning. Finished turning automatically takes care of. And they have also told, use 15 mm per minute for roughing and 30 mm per minute for finishing. Spindle speed to be 1200 ampere during both rough and finished turning and all that they are given. See here, I will be telling you again, the logic behind all these problems will be, you have to know this is Z, axis is Z and perpendicular to the axis is X. Now, this Z will, will be 0 here. Okay, Z will be 0 here. As it starts from here, Z goes on becoming negative. And for the manual part programming, the logic is you have to get the coordinates of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and J. You should know, let us say this is A. A is X8, correct? No, X8. Z0 only. And B is what? X8 only, but Z is minus 8. Okay, can you follow? It is 8. B, C, if you know here, it is X is 12, Z is minus 14. In that way, okay, in that way, we'll write the program for the coordinates, uh, using the coordinates for the entire profile. Okay, I'm, I'm telling you again, you have to know the coordinates of A, coordinates of B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And as you know, here it may be a simple one. Here it is a taper turning. Here it is again plane turning. Here you have one arc. Okay. Arc cutting that is going in clockwise way. Going in G02. Here again an arc cutting is there. Going in anti-clockwise way. That means this is G03 is anti-clockwise interpolation. This is G02 is Lee. That is clockwise interpolation. Okay. Now, as I am telling you, before we start with the program, you should know very well, this is axis is A, Z, and perpendicular to the axis is, uh, Z, uh, that is X, and axis is Z. Okay. Now, you have to know the coordinates of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J, and knowing the coordinates, you write the manual part program. Okay. Now, you see here, now, once uh, this program, uh, planning and operation sheet is simple because there is only rough and finished turning and 50 mm for rough uh, feed I have taken, 30 mm for finished turning, the feed I have taken, that I have written. And for both finishing and roughing, the speed is 1200 only. This planning and operation sheet, what is very important in the industry point of view, this I have written it in a simple way because this calls for simple operations, only rough and finished turning. See here. Now, be careful here. Now, you see here, the, this has a home position. That means the tool will start somewhere here. Okay. Tool will start somewhere in the home position. That means 
once you have a command g28 u0 w0 the tool goes to the home position from the tool will come from the home position that is here we'll be using a rough, rough turning tool or finish turning tool a rough turning tool itself for doing both rough turning and finish turning but whatever is the thing it has to start from the foam position okay it has to start from the foam position now you see carefully first looking at this looking at this you see here some of the commands are common now the profile maximum dimension is 48 the diameter is 48 and if you add up all this 14 plus 14 28 38 48 58 61 70 80 okay 80 is the total length and 48 is the maximum diameter that is why this is the profile finally what we are interested in this profile but that is why the billet the workpiece what i'll take is clearly more that means billet i'll take x50 z100 that is how we start with the manual part programming see any defining billet size diameter 50 length 100 taking little more than the diameter taking little more than the z length whatever they have given okay then these are all block numbers or sequence number n10 n10 n20 n30 n40 and all that you need not write also in future i'll just omit this whatever is required i write then g21 g98 g21 is metric unit g98 is feet per minute these are all initial things what you have to write g28 u0 w0 once it encounters this uh, command okay the tool wherever it is it goes to the home position h okay then m03 s 1200 means you are setting the spindle speed at 1200 rpm as soon as the cnc machine senses this block this block n40 block it uh, starts at 1400 1200 rpm okay the spindle will be rotating at 1200 rpm now carefully here g00 is rapid traverse okay g00 is rapid traverse from the home position rapidly that is machine dependent feed we are not giving any feed machine dependent feed it comes rapidly to this position x50 z2 see here this is 48 that is 50 i have taken already 50 is the billet size 50 is the billet size i have taken 50 x50 z2 that means z0 is here i am little 2 mm away from the workpiece i am there okay that means from the foam position i come rapidly to x50 and z2 this is called tube tool moving to tool entry point that means it comes rapidly to this and after that the tool will obey your orders in whatever command you are given whatever feed you are given it totally obeys your order okay from the home position to the tool entry position it comes rapidly okay now you see here n60 this is g71 multiple turning cycle the significance you know n60 g71 is the multiple turning u1 is depth of cut okay every time the depth of cut is 1 mm so that diametrically reduces by 2 mm the depth of cut is 1 mm r1 is retract distance after every cutting here it goes the tool goes back by 1 mm again comes back again it uh, comes by 1 mm okay cuts again and goes back by 1 mm that means your depth of cut for while cutting is always 1 mm diametrically the reduction will be 2 mm and going back is 1 mm this is what is the thing what i given and also you should know see here yeah that is g71 multiple turning p80 q170 this is the next line what you write in the manual port programming p80 q170 u.5 w.5 f50 that means g71 multiple turning that is this is a pre-program that is why if you just do this automatically your profile is obtained okay now p80 q170 means from n80 to 170 p80 to q170 this is how you should write that that and that that means that is between the block numbers n80 and n70 you have to do the rough turning part okay rough turning part leaving an alliance of 0.5 on both x and z okay p80 q170 u.5 w.5 means alliance on x should be 0.5 Alliance on Z also should be 0.5 and feed is 50. That means once it comes to the tool entry point, it, it always moves with a feed of 50 millimeter per minute. Okay. And please understand your program is between P80 Q170 means N80 and 
N170 is the program for A to J, this profile. Okay. Now, and also after rough turning, as I said just now, G71 now multiple turning, rough turning, you will have an alliance of 0.5 on X, 0.5 on Z also. Can you follow? That means if it is 8 here, 0.5 will be here and 0.5 will be here. That means actually it will be 9 mm. And point, that is 0.5 will be removed during finishing so that it becomes 8. Even here also, 28 is here now. It is 0.5 here, 0.5 here means after rough turning, it is 28 will be actually 29. And that 0.5 will be removed during finishing. Okay, with the depth of cut 0.5, it will be removed. Even here also, 44 means 0.5 here, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 here means it will be 45 and during finishing that 45 will become 44. Okay, in the same way 48 will be 49 and uh, during finishing that 49 will become 48. Okay, now N80, I'll start with the program now. It is between N80 and N70 is the actual program. Okay, now N80, G01, X8, that means A. Tool moves to 0.8. Then G01, X8, Z minus 8. Okay, here X8, Z minus 8. Okay, Z minus 8. This is Z is 0. This is going here is minus 8. Tool moves to point B. Then G01, X12, Z minus 14. That means this tool moves to point C. Okay, that is when X and Z are both given, it does a taper turning. Then X12, Z minus 20. That means tool moves to point D. Okay, then please understand G02 is R cutting, so circular interpolation clockwise, X28, Z minus 28, R8. That means this one, X28, E point. Okay, X28, Z minus 28, radius is 8. Okay, then X28, Z minus 38 means G01. This is linear interpolation. This is circular interpolation. This is linear interpolation G01 X28 Z minus 3 tool moves to point F. It moves to point F. Okay. Then G03 that means circular interpolation anti clockwise. Okay. X44 Z X44 Z minus 46 R8. That is tool moves to point G here. Okay. Tool moves to point G. Then X44 Z minus 61 G01 linear interpolation is a plane turning. Tool moves to point H. Okay. Then G01, X48. Then it will go to I. Tool moves to point I. Then G01, X48, Z minus 80. That means tool moves to point J. That means if you have the coordinates of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Correctly, if you have calculated, this programming becomes an easy task. Is easy task. Now, once tool moves to point J, okay, that is N70, that is P80 to Q170, that is N70, the program ends here, actually, that is up till here, rough turning is done. As you know here, after rough turning, alliance on X will be 0.5, that means 48 will be 49, 44 will be 45, 28 will be 29, 8 will be 9 in that way. And even here, this is 8 will be actually 7.5. So that it becomes 8 during finishing. Then 14 will be actually 13.5 in that way. Okay. Then one command like this. G70 is the finished turning cycle. This is the pre-program as I said. The, in the manual part programming, you just write G70, PAT QA170. That means between the block numbers 80 and 170, you do the finished turning at a field of 30. Just if you do this, it will do the finish turning, removing only the alliances. Alliances of 0.5 on X and 0.5 on Z. It will do just by one block like this. G70, P80, Q170, F30. And then I will send the tool to home position. And M05 is stopping the spindle. And M30 is program stops. And it will go, go back to the initial position. Now, this is the program what I have explained. This I demonstrate using Fonuk turning simulation software in session 2. Okay, now we'll come to the end of session 1. In session 2, I'll give you the demo. Thank you, friends, for watching. Thank you.